and, the, and this very spot that I'm at right here, at this very spot that I'm at, when I was walking home from junior high school, I was just a little kid, just a skinny little tall kid. I was harassed by the police, a big fat pilgrim guy, you know. To me, he looked like a giant eight foot, 5,000 pound pilgrim. A big giant man, just a little tiny skinny tall kid. He put a double barrel shotgun like that, told me to lay down here on this street with a double barrel gun shotgun to my head like that. Laying on the street like that. He told me to lay on the street. And with the gun in my head like this, a double barrel gun shotgun, a pilgrim guy. He said, where's the gun at? And I told him I don't have a gun. Because I never owned a gun. I never had a gun. I'm, I'm the guy that goes to church every Sunday. And I never had a gun in the house. So again, the policeman goes. A big sheriff guy with a double barrel gun shotgun again. Puts it in my head. He goes, where's the gun at? And I said, I don't have a gun. You know, I'm a skinny kid, tall, skinny kid with, with nothing. You know, I don't have, I don't even have a book bag with me. Just walking home from junior high school. On this very spot, the police were harassing me. And I know what they did is wrong. And if you can't tell one American from another one, he should be, he should get, he should be fired. I really believe he should be placed on probation and fired. Because he was harassing me and wrongfully charging me of things that I'm not doing. This is not the first case of many of the police harassing me. So, so try to complain. Tell your mom and dad when the police do this to children. Have a good day. Over and out from Eduardo Esteban Mojica. Your favorite enter entertainer, celebrity. But this isn't acting, this is the real thing. What the police did, this very same spot. This is the same spot that the police, one big fat sheriff guy, a honky guy, a pilgrim guy, you know, because they don't want to accept their pilgrims because they're immigrants from across the sea. As you know, they don't want to accept they're not Americans because, you know, they come to America as immigrants because they're stubborn, you know. Anyways, have a good day for now. Goodbye for now.